Welcome to the video. It's Houston's first big family vacation. We're in Florida. We flew in yesterday, October 21st. It was his first flight. He did so good. And now here we are in Key Largo and he's all ready for his first day and fun in the sun, right? And his grandma Nancy got him this cute Hur Hurley sun protection shirt. And I'll show you guys. Here's the little patio. And here's the view from where we're staying. Super pretty. So like Houston told you guys, we're on vacation. We're in Key Largo, Florida. Thank you to my dad because where we're staying is his condo. And the last time we came down here was the day after we found out we were pregnant with this little guy. And so it's kind of bringing back a lot of memories, but um, we're staying in, it's technically like a, a marina yacht club area. So within his little community, there's multiple pools and paths and a tennis court, which is super nice. So we're here for seven full days. Um, we came on a Monday and we're leaving on a Tuesday and we're just gonna relax and hang out. We don't really have any expectations because I don't know what it's like being in a warm climate with an eight week old. So we are just going to hang out and spend time together as a family. The dog? Yeah. Sure. Look at his tail. Okay. And here is the little boy. We're just going for a walk. We got him all covered really good so he's out of the sun. We're having lunch at the Keys Fishery. Fresh caught fish. Super good. looking for fish. Houston, how did you like your first day in paradise? You were a pretty good trooper. Huh? <laughs> Are you looking right at me? Yeah. And you're Where kicking your legs. Full day number two and we're going to Key West and we got Houston lodged up in a big kid chair, making it work. Giving you somewhere to sit for breakfast, right? Right? Are you happy this morning? And you slept through the whole night. Just kidding, right? You were up three times. You ready for the day? You look so cute. Here's where we parked. There's a pool right on the water. And you hung in there all drive, huh? Are you fitting in in Key West showing some skin? See that the heat there.
Really? Here's the most south tip of the United States. Gulf of Mexico is that way, and here's the Atlantic Ocean that way. Lunch with an ocean view. Hi, little kicking boy. Hi, show us how you kick your legs. Show us how you kick your legs. Oh, come on. You got a belly shirt on, man. Is getting too cold now? Yeah! <laughs> Manatee! <laughs> Getting homemade key lime pie in Key West. Someone's sleeping through the dessert. <laughs> Caught the sunset in Marathon, just barely. The tarpon. Oh, they get to eat primo fish here. Did you see that? Oh, Jeez, did that one get hooked in the head? Uh, I think somebody burned them. Yeah. Lobster mac and cheese, snow crab no, stone boss. Crab. Oh, snow, what's it called? Stone crab. Stone crab boss. Good morning, it's day three of our vacation in Key Largo, Florida. I'm sitting out here on the patio looking at this gorgeous view. So there's the Atlantic Ocean. The palm trees are blowing, it is so beautiful and relaxing. And I'm just drinking my coffee and reading my devotional and journaling a little bit. The baby's napping and Dano is doing his homework. So last night was awesome. Um, our day trip to Key West was so fun. Both my husband and I and obviously the baby had never been there. So that was really cool. The drive down, if you guys aren't familiar, the Florida Keys is the most southern point of Florida and of the United States and when you're it's just one highway and the whole drive the one side you're looking at the Atlantic Ocean and the other side's the Gulf of Mexico so when we were driving down there it was sunny and the sunshine was glistening off the water and on the drive back we got to see the sun setting and then we stopped halfway where I filmed the guy feeding the sharks and we got the lobster mac and cheese um, that was super delicious and today we're just relaxing probably gonna just hang around the condo use the pool go to dinner later or something but the trip has been really nice so far i'm trying to just film a little bit each day just to stay both equally like in the moment and not worry about it but then also i love capturing um, these moments and i know that it'll be really special to look back on our first family trip and show Houston when he's older like how little he was and um, just bringing him on the trip and so cute seeing him in his little sun gear but Houston has been such a little trooper he we're trying really hard to keep him protected from the sun and keep him cool so we have that stroller fan and I've been putting water on him everyone that we see out in public says the same things like they can't believe how young he is because he 
he's big so he looks older and then everybody's always like he has so much hair so it's fun bringing a baby around if you guys have babies like everybody just loves babies and that was the other thing traveling with him was honestly so easy because everybody treats you like gold at the airport like going through TSA everybody gives you so much grace and I was kind of surprised that they made us disassemble the whole entire stroller and take everything out including like the pla like just the accessories of the stroller but then when we got through TSA like when you have to quick grab all your crap off the belt um there people were super patient this lady that worked for the TSA helped us like you know grab our stuff off and wheel it to an area where we could sit down and get our shoes on and everything so that was really nice and then on the flight it wasn't full so we had our whole row to ourselves and the row behind two rows behind us and across from us so it was like we had a lot of space so we we're saying on the on the flight home if we don't have that we don't know what we're gonna do because you do kind of need that extra space to pass him around like maneuver his things if he needed his diaper changed i don't know what the rules are on that but we changed him twice right in our seat so yeah i didn't want to go back to the bathroom if i didn't have to with him so anyways we don't really have anything big planned for the day other than just hanging around here and then going to dinner tonight so i'm sitting here and there is an iguana right Oh my gosh, the zoom on this iPhone kind of sucks, but can you guys see that? Oh my gosh, freaked me out. I just saw something moving and I heard it crawling. They're literally everywhere right down here right now. I brought a friend out here to hang out with me so he can get some fresh air and listen to the palm trees blowing. You like it? Do you like it? Huh? Is your arm stuck down here? Yeah. We put a blankie in his car seat in case he's a blowout in there. Yeah, so we brought our car seat and stroller along, which was pretty easy and a good choice. Huh? You comfortable in there? Sun protection outfit of the day. Got this off Amazon. You can believe it or not, this is a nine month old size and he's eight weeks old. But I got it kind of big because I didn't want it to be like super hard to put on. So I mean, there is room, but, huh? And then it has a big zipper in the back. Being a little squishy at the pool. I'm sweaty, mom and dad. We're having lunch at Marker 88 and Isla Mirada in a rocking booth. That little guy sleeping. This is the golf. Houston, oh, you have a friend that came to hang out with you. Do you want to see your friend? little beach baby. I was letting you air out being naked and then you peed on me. <laughs> little naked beach baby. Huh? You having fun at the beach? Yeah. You just got a clean diaper. Okay, Houston's first time dipping his toes in the Gulf of Mexico. Is that fun? Do you like it? Does it feel good? <laughs> Do you 
know what to think. He's been a great little beach baby today. I think you're gonna be a water baby. Do you? Pride on your pools. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah. How do you like your sun hat? Should I put on that? Sure. I go on that. <laughs> Supporting Minnesota Wild here in Florida. your mom huh are you gonna give me a big smile huh hi are you happy you're happy yeah that's so funny that's so funny do 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 baby shark do do do, do. <laughs> Baby shark, do, do. family vacate day four. It is October 25th and it's about 1.30 p.m. We've just been hanging out at the condo today. Dano's doing homework and we were working on some stuff for purchase of our new house this morning, just gathering some documents for the um, loan officer. But Houston and I got dressed in our swimming suits and we've been sitting out by the ocean um, earlier and now we're gonna go sit by the pool and I'll show you his outfit for the day. Wearing this little sun shirt that I found at Target in the clearance section and it has a hood that looks like a shark and that's a nine month shirt that was the only size they had and same with those swimming trunks are also from Target on clearance and also nine month and he's just been loving um, just hanging out in the stroller. So this is the attachment and it says you should use it at three months and obviously he's only two months, but um, I think he's like big enough to where it works. So he, we just have to make sure his head stays straight cause he's still, you know, doesn't really have that strength in his head yet, but he's totally enjoying it. And we've also been enjoying it because as you can see, it's so nice. You just can throw everything in there. We're gonna go sit over there by the pool it's nice because there's that shady um banner thing so i can just park him put this sunshade up and he'll probably just nap and then i can just hang out and relax came inside for a little lunch break and diaper change and houston looks pretty darn comfy in that recliner Huh? You want to go back down to the pool or would you rather just stay in here and kick your feet up? Okay, Houston's all dressed and ready for dinner in a Mickey Mouse shirt. 
We had a shirt that went with these pants, but he already outgrew it. That's right. You look pretty cute. I'm sorry I took away your passy. We're on our way to dinner for our night for dinner and we're going to a world famous seafood buffet. At least that's what it's advertised at, as. It's called Whale Harbor in Isla Mirada. And we love seafood and food and eating in general. So we're, we're excited to try it out. And Houston is sleeping for at least long enough for us to eat a bunch of food so I'll show you guys the food and hopefully it lives up to its Google reviews. Here's the view from our table at the buffet. He's been sleeping, crushing crab legs, pretty good. Okay, dinner was good. Now we're looking, <laughs> we're looking at boats in the harbor in the marina. And I can already barely carry you in your car seat because he's like, what, 14, 15 pounds now and the car seat's 11, so it's getting tough but he's so snuggly. <laughs>